great. You like it? Yeah. That's your mom. I think you should send that to her. No, I don't think so. I think it'd be better to hang it around here, you know, for the kids. You know, they should get to know their grandma better. Well, they could get to know her if you'd invite her over once in a while. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> That's like putting a grenade in my pocket and pulling the pin. <laughs> well, so long, Meg. Go ahead and salute her. Yeah? She liked that. Remember <laughs> when you were a little kid, you used to do that? Yeah, I had to do this every day. That's what I had to do. God, she was tough. Maybe I'll put a little mustache on her. <laughs> It's 20 to 8. So it is. You know, just 10 minutes ago, it was 7.30. <laughs> My alarm didn't go off. Did your alarm go off, huh? What, did we have a power failure last night? Yeah, remember Andy Stephart? He was at the construction company. He had a new pair of shoes. I was in there the other day, and he got these uh, steel tip shoes, kicked the fence down there at the power station, blew out the whole town last night. <laughs> Well, you're in a good mood today. Meanwhile, I've got 15 minutes to get four people dressed and out the door. Why didn't you wake us? We all overslept. Now sit down here and eat. Come on. <laughs> ben, use a spoon. Here. Robbie, get over there and eat your breakfast. Charlie, put a jacket on. Dad, read the paper. <laughs> Miss Kelly, get some clothes on. <laughs> Come on, you guys, we gotta go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Dad, you wanna check my spelling? Yeah, sure. Spell something for me. Lateness. L A T E N E S S. That's great. Now get in the car. Come on, we're leaving in five. Charlie, jacket. Ben, pants. P A N T S. Now. I'm walking. We don't have time to walk. Dad, don't make me ride with you. People see me getting out of your car, and I'll pay for it all day. OK, fair enough, but you better run. Thanks, right? Dad. Here, here's your book. Is there something going on that I don't know about? Yes. But I'll only give you enough information to put you on alert, but not enough so anybody can say I squealed. It's a fine line. Robbie has a new friend. Bye, Dad. Uh, listen, Dwight, do you remember uh, Brad Licklighter? Yeah, you two used to go fishing together. Went up there to Bees Lake, and we caught a Come lot on, of guys, let's go. And bass and everything. Well, he passed away. Yeah? Yeah. Think Come on, let's go. Out we go. See you later, Dad. See you after school. Maybe you didn't hear me, Dwight. You passed away? Yeah. I'm sorry, well, he didn't. Dad. He didn't really pass away. He passed out on I-50. <laughs> Semi hit him a good lick, but he held on to them worms. <laughs> We're gonna use them tomorrow, too. Only a couple of them dead. <laughs> Well, your copy machine's all fixed. Good, thank you very much. You know, a copy machine is like a beautiful woman. You keep it well oiled, it'll do whatever you ask. 
A copia is also like a man. It keeps giving the same lines over and over again. <laughs> Touché. You speak French? Oui, je parle français un peu. Sign right here, please. Mary, I need two late passes. Guys, I gotta go. Hi, boys. It was your dad's fault, wasn't it? Yeah, he never woke us up. Here we go, guys. Con permiso, habla español? No, but a few of our Spanish teachers might. Por favor, a mi hijo se le olvidó la llave. Dwight, venga, Dwight, come aquí. Sí. Tengo que ir al trabajo y se me hace tarde. A mi hijo Javier Moreno se le olvidó la llave de la casa. ¿Se la pueden dar? He's not gonna cut it, Dwight. Does anybody here speak Spanish? Oh. Sí. Uh, ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar, señora? Me tengo que ir al trabajo, se me hace tarde. Uh -huh. A mi hijo, Javier Moreno, se le olvidó la llave de la casa. Um, her son forgot his key and she's very late for work. Oh, oh, well, we, uh, we can get it to him. No, uh, no problem. Ah, uh, problema. No, no problema. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Um, Javier Moreno. Sí, Javier. Ay, voy muy tarde. Muchas gracias. Oh, Muchas gracias. Sure. Hey, thanks. You are cultured men. You speak French and Spanish. You speak French too? Oui. And English. Oh, your company must have copiers broken all over the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak Japanese. What a bimbo. Dwight, get serious. You really want to take my seventh grade Spanish class? Yes. See. Si. No. I know you. It's completely ludicrous. I love ludicrous. Why can't you take a night course? That'd be ludicrous. I've got principals meetings at night. I've got PTA stuff. I've got three kids. I... Besides, this makes perfect sense. You know, I'm principal of a school where 20% of the students are Spanish speaking. And besides, I think it'd be a good idea for them to see that it's never too late to learn jump. Why does it have to be my class? Because you're a friend and you teach Spanish. You'll disrupt my entire class. Oh, no, I won't. I'll be good. <laughs> Dwight, I know you. There's good boys and there's bad boys. You are not a good boy. But I'm a good student. Dwight, are you asking me as a friend or are you telling me as a principal? Oh, come on, Julie, don't insult me. I'm asking you as a friend. Then the answer is no. Then I'm telling you as a principal. Then I guess I'll see you in class. Also, Miss Chavez, I need to sit near the front because I have trouble seeing the blackboard. I hate you. <laughs> That's a spirit. <laughs> come on, Charlie. One game of Phantasm Ball. First one to get his brain sucked out of his head wins. You're doing that one, Billy Bonifield, your new best friend? Maybe. Kid's a mass murderer. Maybe. Come on, get Dad to do your homework for you. How? Man, it's easy. Just get him to do one of the problems for you. Make like you're having trouble. Then when he does it, act like he's a genius or something. Before you know it, he'll knock off three or four more just to show you how cool he is. Then it'll be done. What if he can't do this stuff? He can do it. Long division. Big deal. Here. <laughs> two. Take the two into the six and the five into the eight. That's 31 with three left over. Wow, you're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Four goes into eight twice and two goes into five twice with one left over. See? Wow, I can't believe how you know this stuff. Yeah, and maybe when you get Dad to do it for you, he'll give you the right answers. <laughs> hey, Billy. Davis, what's going on? Nothing. What's going on with you? Nothing. Where's your old man? Who knows? Who cares? How'd you know where I lived? I stole your file. So you want to come out with me? Yeah. What are we going to do? Jeez, I don't know. I've got a car. A car? Great. I like cars. 
Hi, Grandpa. Hey, really? One of your little funny friends? <laughs> Get your feet off of there. No, that's all right. Keep them up there. I've got a brand new chainsaw out there. And... <laughs> good, good. I'll take the duck. Thank you so much. Robbie, take him for a walk. Maybe he'll find a rainstorm. Come on, Billy. Let's go to the library. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Robbie. That's funny. I remember when I was lying to my old man. I'd always tell him I was going to the library. <laughs> Wish he'd kept his feet there. <laughs> Here's the plan. Every Tuesday, the farmer's bakery truck delivers four cases of chocolate chip cookies to the school cafeteria. The truck arrives approximately at 2.15. It's fifth period. Right. And the only one in the cafeteria at that time is that battle axe NMA. So what's the big deal? We steal a bunch of cookies. Yeah. And then we sell them out of my garage. There's 22 boxes to a case. And there's four cases. That's 80-some boxes. 88. 88. Right. So even if we only make a buck and a half a piece, we'd make, uh... $132. $132. Yeah. So, are you in? Definitely. What about you, Rigo? No way, Jose. Fine, I guess it's just you and I, Davis. You and me. What? Never mind. I will see you at 215. with a jerk like that. I'm tired of being the principal's kid. And I'm sick of people thinking I'm this goody-goody, never-does-anything-wrong, perfect little sweetie face. Oh, sweetie face. Cut it out. I'm just kidding around. It's not funny, Rigo. I've got to do something about my image. Ooh, stealing cookies is really going to make you a bad man, huh? At least it'll make me something, which is more than I am now. <laughs> Today we're going to go shopping. All right? I want each of you to come up and have something that you want to buy. All right, is everybody ready? See. Si. Yeah, I am. Merle. <laughs> Yo tiene un pan, un, dos, eh, huevos. I want to buy a dozen of eggs. Yo quiero comprar una docena de huevos. Great. White. Huh? I'm sorry. Uh... You're next. Uh, esto es un robo. Dame todo el dinero. This is stick up, give me all your money, and everybody hit the floor. <laughs> no, come on, I'm just kidding. Just, just, everybody up, get up, come on. Rigo, put your hands down. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, I apologize, I'm sorry, all right? It'll never happen again. Please let me stay in your class. I mean, that store idea, that was a really good idea, and you're right, such a good teacher. A break. I dig what you're trying to do here, but <laughs> there's just no way I can treat you like any other student. Sure you can. What am I supposed to do, call your father? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we don't want to do that. <laughs> don't want to call dad. Well, I can't exactly send you to detention. Well, why not? I'm not looking for any special treatment. Oh, how's my little angel doing in Spanish? He's got detention. <laughs> Dad, 
listen, I'm going to be home a little late today. I'm going to go over to Rigo's and play some basketball. Oh, that's, that's great. I like Rigo. Uh, Robbie, I'm, I'm going to be a little late myself. I've got a school thing after school uh, here at the school with school people. Oh, and uh, would you tell Charlie and Ben to just walk on over to the tourist office and stay with Grandpa till supper? Yes, sir. Dollars? Are you are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. You're talking about a piece of Native American work, lady. These people on the reservations, they have to make a living. You've got a unique piece for five dollars. It says made in Taiwan. No, no, turn it over. Niawat to the Niawat Indians. <laughs> well, here you go, dear, and thank you so much. You can let yourself out if you can. It's not a long walk. <laughs> Touch the bear for good luck. Everybody else does. Uh, just on the head. Oh, on the nose and head. <laughs> Actually did it. <laughs> now what, Indians? I can't believe people fall for that. Oh, please. Give me a break. Hey, good. Hey, Rigo, how you doing? Rigo, you want to help put on press tags? I don't think so, Ben. It's real fun. Maybe later. I got to speak to Gunny. Okay. Hey, go on. I can tell that you've got a problem, and you tell me, you know, maybe I can help you. I need some advice, and you give pretty good advice. It might not sound like good advice at first, but it usually turns out to be good. I'll do what I can. <clears throat> I have a friend. You don't know who it is. But he's about to do something really stupid, and I don't know how to stop him. And I can't go to Mr. Dio. Robbie will think I squealed. <laughs> uh, yes, as long as it doesn't involve something dangerous. You know, being stupid isn't the worst thing in the world to be. Sometimes you just gotta let a man be stupid. This wire is an example. I was gonna work on this this morning. You see? I'm sorry. How can you bolt right in the middle of the jack? I've never been in the school kitchen before. All that steel reminded me of a prison. How could you confuse a crossing guard and a cop? The sun reflected off her badge. I knew I'd get in trouble hanging around with you. Well, and don't hang around with me anymore. I heard you guys were down here. Am I too late for the job? What's the matter with him? He's mad because he blew the job. He did? Yeah, he brought me. I guess I'm not a wise guy, Rigo. I'm just a principal's kid. Yeah, but your best friend's a bad man. Cookies, where'd you get these? I bought them. What are you doing? Got nothing else to do. Hi, Miss Jurgen. Hi, Billy. Rigo. Robbie. Hi, Miss Jurgen. What are you doing in detention? I we got held up in the cafeteria before fifth period. That's it? That's it. I think the cafeteria supervisor overreacted a little. Mm. <laughs> Dad. Rob, I, I, I thought you were playing basketball. Oh, that? That was a lie. Lying and detention. Well, we're going to talk about this later. Yeah. Hello, Miss Jurgen. Hello, Mr. Davis. Why are you signing in for detention? Oh, I've, um been very bad. I'm sure you have. No, seriously, what's going on? Well, I'm really in detention. Miss Chavez, she sent me down here. <laughs> hey, come on, I wasn't doing anything. I was just fooling around in Spanish class a little bit, and uh, the class laughed and uh, sort of got out of hand, that's all. Hey, I know all that can happen. Yeah, thank you, Billy. <laughs> Should I uh, be ashamed of myself? I think you should be proud of yourself. It takes guts to be in seventh grade. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I really, uh, really feel for these kids. I mean, seventh grade, they get out of seventh grade and their big reward is eighth grade. Then they have four years of high school, and then life. I mean, it seems, just seems like it's all so tough, you know? Why can't it just be easy? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm just gonna let everybody off the hook. Just for, just for today. Hey, everybody. Now, I'm in here because I was fooling around, and you're in here because you were fooling around. 
The way I look at it, we have 38 minutes left of detention. So what I want you to do, I'm going to let you all go home. But I want you to use this extra 38 minutes tonight and write me an essay of all your favorite pranks. And I want perfect punctuation, spelling, sentence structure, and I want it on my desk by 8 o'clock in the morning, and I want to laugh. Okay? Now get out of here before I change my mind. Bye-bye. You know, I've never said this to a student in detention before, but I think you're pretty hot stuff. Esta mesa es muy grande. How romantic. Gracias, señorita. I wish I knew what it meant. It means the table is very large. This is going to keep you in detention, Mr. Davis. Mm, I hope so. <laughs> Davis rules will continue in a moment. I hope you're right. Well, Dwight, allow me to say this. I understand that you were in detention today, and being principal, that's not good. Well, I most certainly was. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. What did you do, a grown man and principal of the school, to allow yourself to be put in detention? Well, I went to detention because I was very naughty. And I made a date with the teacher. <laughs> so we're going out Friday night and you're going to stay home with the kids. Mm. Well, that's another fine mess you've gotten me into. Well, I'm sorry I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to make it to the doctor. I go home because I never wanted to go out. I want to stay home with you. Well, let's just go inside and cry in there. <laughs> <laughs> 